uh, I'm bicultural, meaning that uh, I am First Nation, but uh, I was raised non-traditional. And uh, that brought some shame to me uh, as I got older because uh, I felt like I missed out on something. And um, it seemed like when I was younger, I wasn't accepted by either culture. So I had to find myself. Uh, the, more, the more I learned, the more I wanted to know. So that's what uh, motivated me to uh, travel across Canada when I got older and um, meet people from different tribes and try to figure out my spot in this world, basically. So I did a lot of moving around. I finally uh, decided to settle in Montreal. And although there, there isn't a uh, big prominent First Nation population here in the city, it uh, motivated me to teach other people what I learned. I have a lot of faith in the current uh, federal government um, that has initiatives to um, perform an inquiry in uh, missed and murdered Aboriginal women and girls. Things like that encourage me to continue to do what I do. And hopefully one day First Nations people will have equal opportunity in terms of uh, education and employment because First Nations children are the fastest and youngest growing demographic in the country. And I think it's important that people accommodate that generation.